Hello everyone! I am TurdMonkey1497, but you can call me Alex, and I'm making a follow-up slash update video right now. This will probably be, depending on what I cover, a really lengthy video, so if you're not interested in anything I'm planning on doing next year, or anything I have to say now, you don't have to watch the video. I will probably... I, I, I should. I should post like timestamps or something in the description. That's what I plan on doing if I can still do them. I don't know if YouTube still lets you do it or not. I, I thought they took those out, but I'm not really sure. So, I've got a list of topics I want to talk about, and I, writ I wrote them down. That way I don't ramble too much. So, before we get completely started, I think I should ramble a little bit about a few things. One, I'm rendering a video right now. I'm working on episode 46 of Kingdom Hearts, so this video is not uploaded until after episode 50. Now, for you guys, you already know that. Just saying, like, what the time period is at the point I'm doing this. So, if anything happens from now till then, I don't know. Now, the main topic I want to talk about is what I have done this year and what I plan to do with the remaining stuff I was supposed to do in my 2017 lineup. So this is mostly about the 2017 lineup and about projects and and all the like and stuff like that. So the first li main little um, topic at hand that I want to get into is what I did this year Let's Play Wise. So I covered a lot of stuff this year and I did probably almost half of what I was going to do in my 2017 lineup. My 2017 lineup was made so that I can get myself hyped up enough and excited enough to start doing Let's Plays. To give myself a good reason to do it. It was a ongoing project for a while which is mostly like every other project I've done including you know Persona 5 and Sonic Heroes and Sonic Generations as its own, but we'll get into that topic later. That's a topic on here. So, my 2017 lineup was meant for me to kind of have a list of things I wanted to do for the year and complete them. Of course, I've only completed probably about half of them, and that's mainly because, A, I'm lazy, and two, well, there's really another reason. I just am lazy. I, well, you know, life happens, all that stuff. You guys don't want to hear me say that crap, so... I won't, I won't dwell with that, you know, I'm just basically saying, you know, work, life, and laziness are the main contenders of that, and plus, some of the games I chose on that list were not really that good, so in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and flip on the video itself, you guys won't be able to hear it or really see it, maybe, unless I post in the video. By the way, I don't know what the hell I have for the video, so... Gameplay wise, it might be Tekken, I don't know. It could be anything at this point. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying that. So, pretty much the first video that popped up, it, it's actually supposed to go in order too of what I wanted to do. But I did crash first because, you know, that was the main hype part of the video. And then I decided after a while just to say cut, cut that shit and just fucking just do whatever I wanted. So, the first thing was first was Doom. And I did complete that this year, Doom 2016, along with Crash 1. I did do Splatterhouse, that's two, and I just recently beat Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories on both sides. And then, of course, there's Chain of Olympus, beat that one, and Paper Mario 2 is for... Well, it's one of the Let's Plays I didn't do. I plan on doing it, but I didn't do it. I started Sonic Heroes, but didn't finish that. We'll talk about that later. I beat more in the Luigi Superstar Saga. So, so far, I've beaten more than I've not. There's Ninja Gaiden 3 on here. I haven't done that one yet. There's also Uncharted 3. I haven't done that one yet, either. I also plan to do God of War 3 sometime in the future, too. There's also Devil May Cry 4. Uh, that was one I always kept forgetting about in Infamous. And I think there's Bulletstorm as well. There's Mega Man 2. Haven't done that yet. And then Mad World, which I completely forgot I had that in there. And then Bulletstorm. So, from what it... Oh, and Bioshock 2. So, from what it looks like, I think most of what I haven't finished is pretty much like near the end of the video. It's like the last half of the video. And then, of course, came Crash Bandicoot 1, and I finished that. So, I think in total I beat 
this year in general, I think was seven Let's Plays. Ah, I don't remember. Ah, I gotta take a look. There was quite a few that I did finish, honestly, and I wish I could just fucking see it. It was great. I also did the Crashathon this year as well. It was one, two, and three remastered, all completed in pretty good amount of time, in a pretty decent time. So it was all streamed. So we had the real Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot. We had Donkey Kong Country, which I f forgot to beat that too. Doom, uh, Kingdom Hearts Retaining Memories is practically done at this point. Mario and Luigi, we're not counting streams, so if we were, Lords of the Fallen, and Dark Souls 2 will be on that list as well. Uh, let's see, we got Splatterhouse, God of War, Chains of Olympus, and then... Yeah, that's seven. That's seven Let's Plays I've done this year. Now, if, if we actually look back, I'm sure I probably not finished a lot last year either because I don't I don't even remember when I started last year like I don't even know if, I don't even know when Bioshock started like Bioshock 1 was yeah two years ago and that's not that far down so I've pretty much done a lot more stuff this year than I have in most years Kingdom Hearts was done let's take a look I'm basically giving myself free views at this point Back in July of 2016. So that one was not that far down. I want to say... Okay, let's check Uncharted and see where that leads me. That might have been probably the first one of the year, I don't remember. No, that's, that's July 11th, 2015. What the fuck? Are these things just like out of order or what? That's like 2015. Holy shit. Well, when did I start my 2016 stuff? God damn, I must have took a long ass break. Spyro Heroes was at the end of, like, it was like December. So, I guess Spyro was probably the first one of 2016? Yep. Spyro was the first one, not counting Bionicle, because Bionicle started back in 2015. So, last year I did Spyro 3, I did God of War 2, and then Bloodborne. Then we did Kingdom Hearts 1. Ratchet and Clank, Ninja Gaiden, and Stop Park, Stick of Truth, which was seven Let's Plays. So typically, I guess I do about seven Let's Plays every year, depending on how big they really are. But man, you could totally tell like the difference between my Let's Plays and just how far they've grown. It's ridiculous. And the thing is, like, I've been on here for like nine years now, and I've only been doing Let's Plays for about five or so. Not long enough, really. So pretty much... What I want to do for next year is I want to take most of the stuff I didn't complete this year on 2017 and move it to 2018 and try to do them there. Again, that doesn't mean I'm going to be, I'm not going to for sure do them. It just means that I would like to do them. So if they don't happen then, they who knows if they'll ever happen. They might happen in 2019. I don't know. They, they can happen any time. So in the video, I did say, like, if I don't complete these, don't get pissed at me because, you know, things happen. And I always change my mind on things all the time. So my channel is always fluctuating between what the hell I want to do. You know, that's just what my channel is. It's just a bunch of just up and down bullshit. I'm not going to do a 2018 lineup because I didn't finish 2017 lineup. So the 2018 lineup, if I did do it, would basically be everything I didn't complete this year. And that's probably going to pretty much be the rest of that year. Plus, there's also the projects I started this year and all the streams and all that stuff, too. So, really, a lot of that kind of did cut into the time. And the way I upload is, like, usually almost every day, and it kind of started slowing down near, like, the end of the year. And that happens. Typically, like, at the beginning of the year, I always just straight jump in and just go ham. Because I got the time to do it. I got the time off. And I now have a week off to myself. And I'll talk about what I'm going to do with that later. So... Yeah, the next topic is basically what I plan Let's Play Wise next year. And again, like I said, pretty much everything from 2017 I didn't finish will hopefully get done in 2018. That's the plan. I would like to start Infamous, of course. That would be a fun one to do. There's a bunch of games up here that I would like to cover. But, you know, who knows? I might do them, might not. Things happen. I This is also kind of like a side topic. I didn't put this in the thing but we're pretty much done with that topic so i want to talk about hardcore and guides real fast now 
I'm currently doing Bayonetta, and David is doing Pikmin. At the time, that's what's going on. David will be, will have his videos uploaded after I beat Bayonetta on hard and get them all uploaded and everything all done. After that, I plan on doing Bioshock Infinite on 1999 mode. So for you guys that are interested in my second channel stuff, that's a small little update for you. I, I know I should probably make an update video for Hardcore, but they never need it. They're fine. They they understand. <laughs> they're great. You know, they're great people over there. Uh, Hardcoreian has been doing relatively well this year. I haven't really uploaded as much. And it's mainly because, you know, most of the games are done hard and they take more time and I have to put more work into editing them and putting more effort into them, which I try to put effort into these videos too, but not as much as Hardcoreian because Hardcoreian, I feel like, deserves way more effort than this channel. Not to say that this channel sucks dick or anything, which it kind of does, but I mean, like, it's not that bad. You know, back then I tried to organize this the best I could. I always tried to jump for making this, you know, a very professional channel with unprofessional commentary, and then that just went to, sh went to shit, which is fine. Which is fine. You know, that's that actually made my channel a little bit better. And funny enough, Aaron was pretty much the one who... Basically, he told me, you know, to stop rambling off topic. Just stop going from one topic to another, and that should make your videos a little bit better. So I started doing that, you know. It it got into my brain of like, don't do that, Alex. Don't do that. Don't do that. And finally, it just clicked in my brain to where now it's just a natural thing. I, I try to stay on topic as best as I can. And I know I just went off topic from hardcore, but I'm pretty much done with that topic anyway. Except for maybe like one last thing. is like, if you guys like that, I might put a link in the description. If not my description, then you can go check out my main channel page, and you can find him there, along with other people that you can go watch as well, and Aaron is on is on there too, so you can go see him, and of course my friend David, and then, you know, of course, you got my other buddy Don on there too, and then we have, like, Bic and SGB and all of them, so... I got quite a few people on there that you can go check out if you are interested in their content. You don't have to sub to them. It's just a small little shout out, I guess. I figured I was probably going to do it anyway, so there you go. Now, the next topic on hand I want to talk about is my projects. I've had an ongoing project for a long time, which is the Sun Generations project. I think it started back in 2014 or something like that. Or maybe it was 2013. Uh, regardless of what it was, what I was doing was I, was play I played through Sun Generations 100%. And I would take those levels and play the games those levels are from and beat the games. So, for instance, you know, the first world that you get is the classic era. One, two, three. And then you fight a mini-boss, which was Metal Sonic from Sonic CD. So I played the whole entire thing for that and then had that game beat. And I t what I do after I beat the game is I take a clip or I take that episode of Sonic Generations and I take that episode where I beat Metal Sonic in Sonic CD and put that in a playlist in order to kind of make it, you know, it just like combine it. Like, you know, you can see like Sonic Generations wise and what it looks like in the actual games, you know. That's what that was. That's why Sonic Heroes popped up too is because I needed to continue on with that. Now, I am currently doing Sonic Heroes as a project as, project as well, only because it's just such a bitch to do in one go. I decided just to say, fuck that, let's just you know, do it every once in a while. And the other big project on hand right now is Persona 5. So, whenever I get the chance with Dalton, we try to record not as often as we can, because, you know, usually we, he just comes over and just hang out and that's it. So, since we're, I'm on break, pretty much for a whole week, and a day or something like that, I think. I got like this weekend, next weekend, and then I got a Monday off, and then I come back on Tuesday. So I pretty much have like a whole like week or so of just me just jacking around. And I asked him, he said, yeah, that's fine. We're going to do ten more videos of Persona 5. We're going to do the second dungeon. He's going to be taking over the second dungeon. He's doing dungeon 2, 4... Six and seven, I'm doing one, three, five, and eight. That way he has the ones he likes, and I have the ones I like, and he has I have the first one and last one, 
And he has like a big one too, which is six and seven. Those are pretty big actually. Seven's like really big. And then eight, I don't know how big that was. I think it's pretty big. So they're pretty much hour long videos. I want to try to make it 80 parts as best I can. But we'll see how that turns out. You know, if you guys like that stuff, be prepared for that. It should be happening after Kingdom Hearts is completely uploaded, which at this point in time, it is. So, there's that. Now, there's also a Dragon Ball discussion video that should be coming soon, if it hasn't already come. Keep your eyes out for that. It might have already happened. I don't know. I, I need to work on that, but I really want to get Kingdom Hearts done first. And that's just a fun little, like, anticipation for Dragon Ball Fighters and all that stuff, so... My buddy's supposed to be having that on his channel, but I don't think he's—I don't think David's done that yet. I'm not really sure where he's at in that one. Now, the um, Sonic Heroes project, which is practically the Sonic Generations project, so let's just say Sonic Heroes for now. I want to recon—I want to do Team Dark after I do Persona 5. Once I get like 10, 10 more episodes of Persona 5, I want to jump on Sonic Heroes next year and just beat dark and then take a break from that and do something else which I have no idea what that's gonna be yet now the next topic on hand is let's plays I want to do sometime in the future so this might be a short topic I would like to do if possible Jack 2 I'd like to do God of War 3 I'd like to do fuck <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2 would be nice. Uh, there was another one. Oh, Spyro Season of Ice. Crash Bash, maybe. I kind of don't. I kind of do at the same time. And also Mario... Oh, God. Mario Sunshine. Now, this was something I was thinking about when I was in the shower because, you know, God forbid everybody has their ideas in the showers, right? So, I want to do a redemption run of Mario Sunshine because I was going. I was doing a race kind of thing with David one time and I fucking quit and rage quit like a little bitch. I just got pissed at the game. I said, fuck it. I was trying to go for 100%. I fucked it all up. I've beaten the game 100% before, thankfully. It's just I suck at it. So, in my eyes, I see Mario 64 as its own game separate from Mario Brothers. So that's why... Because I like doing things chronologically and in order. You know, like with Kingdom Hearts. It's just... If they're... They can be canon or whatever, but it's just... To me, it's kind of a spin-off, but, you know, it's... It's its own thing, you know what I mean? Like, it has its own genre of its own games. Like, yeah, Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1 and 2, maybe 3D World might be on there, I don't know. But then again, I might not count that in Mario Odyssey. And there's also fucking the one for the 3DS, which 3DS capture cards I seem like they're kind of hard to get. Anyway, I, I'm not sure. I haven't really messed with those yet. I've heard stories about them. I heard there people have them. People have them, so, you know, they're definitely out there. It's just I... Not 100% sure on where to look. That's the issue I have with that. So I have a miscellaneous topic. And I don't know why I put that there. There's really nothing left to really talk about in, in terms of like miscellaneous shit besides, you know, Christmas coming up. And there's nothing about that really important to the channel. Streams, I guess, I could talk about. I still plan on streaming next year, of course. And a stream idea I would like to do is... If David can get Mario Odyssey in a Switch, which this video might be uploaded probably after Christmas. Nah, yeah, probably not. I don't know. Um, whenever he gets a Switch in Mario Odyssey, I want to do a race with him. I just went out and bought Mario, Mario Odyssey today. So, I'm not going to play it until probably like after Christmas. Just to be on the safe side to see if he actually has it. Because Christmas is going to be a fucking bitch of a day, I'm sure. I'm just not excited for that at all. I really, I'm really not. I don't want to go. I don't really want to go to my dad's very much. It just, I already bought everybody presents, and it's like I gotta go, but I don't want to. It's gonna fucking suck, like it does every single time I go up there. I fucking hate it. That's that. <laughs> There's just nothing with that one. It's just my life being retarded. And then I have one last topic I want to get into. This is a doozy, because I don't know exactly what the fuck I planned with this one. Uh, ooh. I want to talk about Kingdom Hearts 2. Since I basically just finished Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, 
I want to talk about too, and what I plan to do with that in the future. Again, plans will change. I change my mind a lot, so whatever I say now could be changed. I don't know. Don't hark on me for it later. Saying, oh, you said you were going to do it, and now you're not going to fucking do it. Well, I'm saying right now in this video that if I decide not to do it, then I decide not to do it. It's not your fucking problem. Simple enough. You know, you guys can go watch other people if you really wanted to. Like, my content's not perfect. I don't shit rainbows, okay? Not everything I do on here is great. I mean, I'm a fucking human being. I'm gonna do what I want when I want. And that's what my moral was when I first started YouTube, was just do whatever you want. And hell, I was watching freaking Spyro the Dragon, my Spyro the Dragon Let's Play, because I wanted to do like a nine year anniversary video and I fucked that up. And I was like, this looks boring. I was like, nah, nah, not doing this. So I was listening to myself and he was talking about, you know, just doing whatever you want. He's, I was like, I just want to do whatever I want on here, you know? Just, if I want to do fucking Spyro, I'll do Spyro. And then just said a bunch of other ramble stuff. But anyway. Back to Key March 2, um, that's a big one. That's a, that's a big game. I, I've i never really 100% it. I've just gotten close enough to 100%ing it. And of course, I said fuck the gummy ship stuff. So if I ever do it, I'll probably just say fuck gummy ships and fuck Coliseum. And just probably get the double, like get the golden crown completely. That's my plan is do all the mushrooms and do all, like do Terra and all the super bosses and all them too. All the organization bosses and everything I can with that game as much as I can until I get to the point when I feel like I'm not able to do anything anymore except for gummy ship stuff which I don't care for and all the rest. So Kingdom Hearts 2 will basically be kind of like how SGB did it where they didn't give a shit about the gummy ship stuff either. They pretty much are doing what I'm saying. It's just like just beat the game and then do all the extra stuff right after that you know people want to see rather than things that people don't want to see like I'm trying to keep you guys entertained and myself at the same time that's the idea so Kingdom Hearts 2 might be like a hundred parts I, I don't know that's just assuming that's just assuming now it really depends on what what's gonna happen because that's kind of a lengthy game if you think about it I will be doing Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix version so well yeah I basically said Terra so there's that after that I think it's like 358 over 2 and that's a DS game, so I'll have to emulate that and actually play it and beat it. I'm not going to do the whole, you know, cutscene thing. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm going to actually fucking play it. Until we get to Kingdom Hearts X, or, you know, that mobile game, web game, then I'll just do the cutscene one, because I'm not going to play for that just for Let's Play. It's just retarded. It is, if it's not beatable, it's not worth my time to fucking do a Let's Play of it. It just doesn't seem like it, you know what I mean? That's just my philosophy on that one. If you can't actually physically totally beat it, you know, and, or have an ending or just some kind of, you know, accomplishment for doing something on it, that just doesn't feel like a let's play to me. Yeah, you can play it. You can let's play it. You just, I like having these things done. You know, I like that feeling of accomplishment of actually being able to finish things, especially with guides. That's why I like doing guides a lot of the time too, is because you beat one and you're like, wow, I did that, you know? It just, it's crazy. So, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 may or may not happen this year. I am not 100% sure on that. So, if it does happen, it might be like near the end of the year. And yes, that was also something Aaron said too, was just wait till like October around there because you gotta... You gotta really jam pack the fuck out of these Let's Plays if you're gonna do that. Because Paper Mario 2 will be a big one. Probably like 50 parts, 60 parts. I'm not really sure. I'm not gonna do everything on that. Just gonna go through the game normally, beat it, and that's it. Uh, then I also would like to one day, don't know when, maybe next year. I should. This was one of the topics I should have talked about. Fuck. Um, is do a redemption run for Paper Mario. Not really a redemption run, but more of like. I know, I keep talking about DSP. Uh, more of like a redo, I guess. Yeah, a relaunch play, pretty much. Because the one I did was emulated, and it just was shit, and I just didn't like it. The content wasn't bad, it just, the emulator was fucking garbage, so it kind of just had this weird effect on the screen. It pissed a few people off, and I was like, alright, fine, maybe one day I'll fucking do it again. Which that would be pretty much the third time I've done on this channel because I did a classic one 
where I recorded like I think eight videos of it. No, it wasn't even eight. I think it was like two. I had like two videos like a long time ago of it. Which I do delete videos from time to time, but a lot of that really old stuff that is left up there for just ever and just forgot about it. I just leave it up there now. It's just like a classic reminder of like what I used to be. And I you know I have changed. That's for sure. I I've become quite more of an asshole over the years, but only because people have pissed me off. And that's just what happens. I've grown up, got a little bit more grumpier. I'm generally a nice guy, but it's just I can be an asshole and I Sometimes I mean to, and sometimes I don't. You know, it just happens. I just don't like being bothered. That's really what it is. I, I like doing things by myself until I have to go out of my way to, you know, communicate with people. Like, I like hanging out with people and talking to people pretty much every day. It's just not always. You know what I mean? Like, I pretty much see my brother, like, every day. But then again, he's, he's, he's close. He's close by, and I can just get there. We go to Quit Trip for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just go back home, and then we're just separate, you know? We'll message each other on Twitter and send shit to each other, and that's pretty much to me like a really good relationship right there. It's like just, you know, we don't see each other all the time, but when we do, we, you know, we talk in spurts and stuff like that, or how long we pretty much can. So, yeah, and I, what the fuck is this? It's some fucking mouse where you hold it like vertically for some fucking reason. I have no idea. This is just retarded. This looks really fucking retarded. I know, I know, I know. Ah, oh, man. Yep, that's. I need to get off my fucking phone because I'm basically just looking at freaking Facebook right now. And this is something I should not be doing. But yeah, I guess back to like miscellaneous stuff streams will still be happening I don't know exactly what all the streams are going to be but the plan right now is to do Mario Odyssey so that's the main big stream so that's that I don't know about with Aaron we just do it spontaneously and just whenever typically on Fridays but we sometimes we hardly even know what we want to do I basically mentioned like three times this this video, literally, and that's sad that I have to rely on Aaron for, that's four. Every single time I make a video, I have to rely on him for everything. He's basically my back pedal there. <laughs> oh, well, he's my kickstand, you know? Although, um, my kickstand is kind of small, you know, just saying. For anybody out there who's wondering, like, how big it was to compare sizes, it's kind of tiny. It's like about an, probably about an inch flaccid, and like two inches hard, just... I figured I'd let you guys know. So it's not very big to keep me up, you know. It's not big enough to keep me going, I guess. Also, I've gained a shit ton of what seems like views and subs this year. I think it was like 175 subs this year and then like 40,000 views. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where'd that come from? I don't remember that. But then again, I have a lot of videos. I have a lot of videos on here that are pretty much quote-unquote popular as in like they've gained they've garnered like a ton of views like my highest viewed video is like 5,300 for fucking whatever reason I don't know why but that's just uncharted for like I guess it's just a uh, treasure one like how to get treasures or some shit there's a dumbass video I made like five years ago and it just was just ass just trash and then there's South Park and like a like a bunch of different videos on there god damn I'm getting tired. I'm tiring myself out over here. So yeah, expect content more. And now that we're heading into the new year, I'm probably going to be more, you know, excited to do more stuff. But that's going to drop. That's going to drop so hard. It's really going to drop. So I just want to make this video to basically say, you know, one, don't tell me what to do. And B, if I say I don't want to do something, if I say I want to do something, I change my mind. Let me fucking change my mind. Simple as that. That's pretty much... That's not really the main part of the whole video. But, you know, that's... That's a big key right there. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever I freaking played. I don't know. I'm probably getting my ass whooped. 
as we speak right now. Which would be funny if I actually was. So, this might be a Tekken video. I, I have no idea yet. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all next time when we see each other again. So I don't know. You might see me in the next video. You might go watch one of my old content videos. And hope you guys have a, a good night. And depending on when this is uploaded, have a Merry Christmas. And a Happy Holidays and all that great stuff. And you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all next time. So, take care, everybody.